Hello and welcome to Ginny's Horse Product Review. I'm Ginny and today I'm going to give you a mule pancake update. So we have had a lot going on. We recently moved her to a new barn and that's really exciting and we also moved Monk there. So if you've been following my channel for a little while you know we also have a black horse named Monk. She's been at another barn because we moved last year so she's been like an hour away an hour away from where um, we are now where we used to live, but it was kind of one of those situations where it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And she was just doing really good there. And we just had a lot of stuff going on. We didn't have a ton of time to spend with her. So it was like, she's cool there. Let's leave her there for now. And also, as you know, in the spring, I got mule pancake and moved her immediately to a barn uh, closer to where we live now. So we had Monk an hour away. Pancake was is closer, but it was still like 25 minutes. And so a friend of ours, um, a friend of my husband's through work actually does have a boarding barn and they had a couple of openings. So we were like, you know what? Let's move our horse and our mule and get them in the exact same spot. It's gonna be a lot easier. We're not having to like split up to go to different barns to see them. And this one's even closer to our house. So it's only like 15 minutes away from where we live. I know I've talked about moving barns and boarding barns and things like that. This isn't the type of move where things deteriorate and you have to like get your horse out of there, whether from like drama or bad care. We really loved both the places that Monk and Pancake were at and everything was amicable. Great move from both of those places. Shout out to Hannah and Tammy. Absolutely wonderful care of our animals and we miss you guys, but it is nice to have them at the same place and even closer to our house. So they're now at the new barn and Monk got off the trailer like she's lived there forever. Super settled. And what we did was went and picked Monk up, so like an hour away, and then we got Pancake on the way down. So Pancake got hopped right on the trailer. Super great. Excellent loading. Right on the trailer. And then drove like another 10 minutes to the new barn. Unloaded them both. Monk, total rock star. Like she's been there before. I mean, we've had this horse for over a decade. We've had her all over the place. And I mean, she just stepped off the trailer like she's been there before, which I love. Totally cool as a cucumber. Love it. Pancake in true mule fashion is taking a little bit longer to get settled in. The first couple of days, she did a lot of pacing, you know, like walking the fence line. And if you followed kind of our earlier journey when I got her this spring, she, you know, she did a lot of that, like walking the fence, running the fence, a lot of like anxious energy in the springtime and like a lot of calling for the scalding she was in love with. Like it was kind of a tough, it was like a tough adjustment period for her to settle into that barn. And I think part of it was she was at my parents' barn for two years and was totally settled. And like, I kind of like kidnapped her and brought her to a strange place. And now I think that we moved her to another place. The first couple of days I was like, oh my God, we're, we're starting all over again from scratch. It's gonna take her a couple of months to settle in here. And that just hasn't been the case. It was like literally a couple of days, maybe the first couple of weeks, she was really pacing the fence line. Like, what am I doing here? You know, that kind of like nervous tick that she has. And then she's really started to settle in and I was, I was legit like, oh man, we're in for another couple of months of this. Like she's going to be distracted. It's going to be difficult. But I think a couple of things are contributing to her settling in a little bit better is that this time she knows me. Last time I just went down to Florida and like kidnapped her as, <laughs> you know, is the way that she would see it. Like she didn't know me. Like now we have a relationship and I'm coming to see her. So there is that continuity with me and her life and Max seeing her. So I think that that has helped with her confidence in the new place and really help her settle in. And then also like Monk has always kind of been like our wild card, like a little bit of a, um, she can have her moments if you're familiar with the channel. And I never would have thought like, oh, I would love for my horse or mule to be like absorbing Monk's energy. But Monk has been like a really strong, calm presence for Pancake. And I think that she has such a deep bond with Max and with me. And that she's been with us for so long that it's actually been really good for Pancake to see that like, oh, like these people are trustworthy. Like it is just so interesting with mules. They're so much smarter than horses. They're just thinking on a different level, higher level. And it's a lot more complicated, I think. And it's just really interesting to see like we're kind of like getting a little bit of cred, like credibility from Monk, I think is like 
she just kind of sees that. And I know that sounds like, that sounds crazy to say, but I do think it is contributing to her like settling in a little bit easier. Cause the first couple of days, week or two was a little hairy. And now she's like calmer than she was at the last place. And it's like, almost like we've jumped a level of like bond or um, relationship building. It does feel like we've just come a little bit farther in a shorter amount of time. So that's really cool to see. I don't know what combination of factors that is. And I also know that at our last barn, it was more of like a retirement place. Like not a lot of people were out there very much. Like not many people were riding, not a lot going on. Bigger facility, kind of like, you know, horses turned mules turned out. And this place is a smaller facility. There's a lot going on. There's kids riding, there's grownups riding. There's people coming to say hi to her all the time. Like she's, you know, she's really cute and charming. You guys know Pancake, like you can't help but go say hi. And I think that's going a long way for her too. And this kind of goes back to like mules just being really different and interesting that she's like, I just, now that I'm in this mule journey, I can't imagine like how difficult it could be for people just getting into mules. Like, obviously I know it because I'm living it, but it's just so, just so different. Like it's hard to articulate the difference that it is. And I was recently like, you know, we've been having, you know, we, I don't feel really feel like Pancake and I have like fully clicked yet. Like, I don't feel like we've had that like full bond yet. And <laughs> we're going on like month six or month seven now. And I've always gotten along really well with my horses and, you know, don't have trouble building rapport and building that trust and stuff like that. But I was watching a video and it was um, Ty Evans, if you're familiar with him, TS Mules, like really well-respected mule trainer. And he was talking about like what you should do or like talking to somebody and should they sell their troubled mule or like asking him. And he went through like five different things of like, you know, what you should have, what you need to have to be successful with a mule. Um, especially like a green or a troubled one, things like that with a little bit of baggage. And one of the five elements was like your time, like five days a week, two or three hours a day, which I really don't have. <laughs> I'm busy. I have a lot going on in my life. So I'm more of like a weekend writer at this time. And then another one of the things that stuck out at me was the uh, facility. So like having the right facility um, I don't think that anybody can just like pluck a mule out of where they're at and just be successful anywhere. I do think that you need to have a, a facility that supports you and whatever way that looks like. That might be um, another horse or mule to help with building confidence or a trainer or a round pen or an arena or things like that. I do think that the facility has a huge bearing on your ability to make progress with your animal. So that was just something that stuck out at me and of those elements and just really interesting that moving her to this place I feel like we've already kind of leveled up a little bit and I do think part of the environment um, she is more like compatible with or a little more like happy or settled or content there so again nothing against the last place we were at I loved it gorgeous excellent care beautiful great well maintained very safe but it's just interesting how going to a different place we've seemed to like level up, like I have, like I feel like a little bit more, uh, you know, money in the bank with her as far as, you know, trust and confidence and things like that. So I'm super interested to see where we go from here. And yeah, so I'll, I'll just show you some of the videos. The first couple of weeks also, I think that was kind of difficult when we first got there, it was so windy. Like obviously like who can be new and settled in a place where it's like, super high winds so we did have that working against us and I was like oh my god like, she's not settling like I was worried that if Max took Monk out she was like gonna try to jump the fence or go through it or something I didn't even know like I was just super like oh this doesn't look good but the good news is she is settling in I feel like we're making some progress and yeah that's just going well so that's the big update with Mule Pancake and also our horse Monk. We're at a new place, so expect a lot of new content coming from that place. And I just look forward to, you know, working with her there and seeing what we can do this fall and winter and really taking advantage of this cooler weather. And I hope that you stick with me. I would love to hear from you, so leave me a comment and like the video. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy trails.